to the fact that yes, Sled Day was 50 years ago, and as I told you, I don't actually remember Sled Day, but I do remember running to school to see the launch of the Apollo mission and the Merck. I started off at home and I run to school to be able to see the launch. And again, I remember this, the 60s was really for search for knowledge in so many spheres of life, but the space program was really a galvanizing moment. And I always assumed I was going to space. I didn't necessarily think I was going to be a crew member. I thought I was going to be working on Mars or Jupiter or something. <laughs> These days, I've heard people say that the energy program should be like the moon program. We should look for alternative energy and focus our attention that way. And that's going to make the world better. And that's going to galvanize us again. And I have a problem. It's a great thought, great thought. But I have a problem with it. Because if we do it like we did the space program, the Apollo program, we're going to get stuck because right now I could. I'm going to ask Eddie. You could you imagine that we would not be on the moon? We would be on Mars or one of the moons of Jupiter right now if we had continued on. So what happened is there was a failure of commitment somewhere along the way, and so right now we're refiguring out how to go to the moon. Okay, <laughs> when we've already been there, we got stuck. We regressed, and that was not because of a lack of talent or a shortage of resources but matter a lack of commitment. And so what we need to do now is have a commitment. We need to make sure that we have science literacy that allows the full public to participate in what's going on in the future, to appreciate the process. It's not just about getting there. It's not just about the innovations and the inventions. It's about the basic search for knowledge, the ability to move forward, move on, and see the world as a whole. Last physics lesson, high school physics. I look at the issue to hold up the ball, right? You should say this ball has potential energy. But it can't do any work until it has what I call a bunch of physics people around here. Can't do anything until it has kinetic energy, right? It has to change states, have to drop the ball in order for it to do work. Ideas are really wonderful. They're like potential energy, but nothing's going to happen until we risk putting them into action, until we change states. The ideas that come in this committee, this ideas for this talk that they're really wonderful, but we have to continue to put them into action. It's not just enough to have the committee. It's not just enough to talk about these things. We have to put them into action. And so again, I can guarantee that if we put this in action, we can move forward. And when we ask, what are we doing it for? Zora Neale Hurston said, research is a science and a focus for the purpose. And our purpose is to create the world that we want for the future. Thank you very much.